Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here, live from Weather Trends 360 Studio here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Thought we'd do another quick update on major Category 4 uh, Michael, Hurricane Michael. It's about 55 some miles south of Panama City. Earlier guidance suggested this thing was going to make landfall around 2 to 3 this afternoon. This is why you never wait to the last minute. Now it looks like it'll probably be making landfall closer to noon, so several hours earlier than just a few hours ago. It's moving rather quickly north at 13 plus miles an hour. Sustained winds of 138 gusting to 167. So this is a major hurricane that certainly will rival the big ones of Ivan in 04, Dennison in 2005, and Opal in 1995. So a catastrophic uh, storm to say the least. Current radar already shows the eye, uh, again, to the south of Panama City. Uh, moving north at 13, that's probably accelerated here a bit. Um, it's, it's projected to be a Cat 4 with 144 mile an hour winds, 173 gust uh, in and around Panama City. Again, that right front quadrant is always the most devastating. Um, even this storm will be, since it's so strong at landfall, even all the way into Albany, Georgia, may have a pretty serious wind damage. Um, obviously the storm surge will be more toward the, the coastal areas and inundation in the coastal areas. Um, the good news is we've overlaid the traffic here. There's fortunately not a lot of traffic. Uh, it looks like everybody's gotten out of harm ways, hopefully. Um, but again, with this system, if you're in the right front, so from Panama City Beach toward Callaway, Port St. Joe, Apalachicola, those areas, again, the inundation will be uh, uh, catastrophic. Uh, if we look at the uh, official Hurricane Center forecast, again, they show it um, Again, major category. Earlier they were suggesting around 3 o'clock this afternoon. That's going to be probably more closer to 12, 1 o'clock at the latest based on the current speed. Right over Georgia, again, is a strong hurricane. Uh, and then into the Carolinas, the South Carolina is a uh, tropical storm. Uh, we actually have another system out there that might be developing here within a few days. Uh, hopefully not, but uh, Hurricane Center is watching a, another area kind of where Michael formed. Wave heights have already been reported uh, over 30 feet out in the Gulf. We won't get 30 feet waves, 30 foot waves on the on the coast, but you'll certainly get 10 to 20 foot waves on top of a storm surge. Um, so it's important to remember waves are just on top of the surge, not not um, you know, not included in the surge. So this is at landfall again. Probably looking at a Cat 4 just to the right. Again, right front quadrant is always the most devastating. So this area, let's hope it's just to the right of Panama City because there can be a huge difference between this side versus this side even just 10 miles across um, so Panama City definitely gonna have some major wind destruction uh, but if that surge is just to the right uh, that'd be a little bit of saving grace uh, but again heading toward certainly some damage in Tallahassee Albany Georgia from winds uh, looking at this inundation I think this is maybe a little bit underdone this is the reds are showing nine foot inundation again storm surge water simply lifting up the ocean water is just nine feet higher uh, and this actually shows it going in some 20 miles, uh, so that's pretty pretty far inland across this waterway. Uh, I think this is underdone here in Panama City. There's some areas showing a 9-foot surge in here, but I think uh, probably a little higher than this uh, based on the current track. Uh, so this area may be quite a bit worse than it's projected here. Again, remember, it's 9-foot water lifting up with a surge, and then on top of that, 10 to 20 feet of waves. So you're talking upwards of potentially 30 feet of water, and that's why second-story buildings will be destroyed, um, you know, near the coast. So again, anyone remembers those big systems back in uh, Ivan and Opal, Dennis, will certainly know what to expect here. Weekly rainfall totals, again, we see that strip of, uh, the good news is it's a fast mover, so we're not going to get the epic rainfall that we had with Florence, but you're certainly going to have five, six, seven, eight inches of rain in this swath from Florida into Georgia. Uh, hopefully this pans out here where the rain is heavier on the northwest side of the system as it goes through the Carolinas, so it avoids the eastern Carolinas that were devastated with flooding from Florence. Um, nonetheless, uh, too much rain here in this is, uh, as Michael heads out to sea. Um, this is the preseason hurricane outlook that we had actually issued, uh, as well as some others. Um, Again, everyone kind of was leaning a little bit above average early in the season, then a lot of folks downgraded. We were actually on the high side um, with 15 named systems. We're already at 14, uh, 15 systems because we actually had a depression as well. But um, So we're already up at uh, kind of our projection back in April. Um, everyone else kind of downgraded as we went through the season. A lot of folks downgraded. Um, IBM Weather Company was actually in the low end with a below normal season 11. A uh, quick funny story, we had an insurance company here that did not believe our forecast, did not believe it was going to be an active season. Uh, in August, they actually thought it was going to be a dud and a complete bust. This was an insurance firm. Um, it's been catastrophic, to say the least. You're talking upwards of 60, 70 billion in damages from hurricanes this year with, you know, at least 
40 some billion potentially in North Carolina, and then obviously now with Michael, we could easily have a 10 billion plus dollar damage. Um, these red areas where we thought the greatest landfall, highest risk areas were going to be. Uh, so Panhandle, Florida did well, and obviously the South Carolina and North Carolina did well. And uh, we didn't think Texas was going to be an issue, unlike last year where Harvey was so catastrophic. So again, the, the year ahead uh, forecast actually did pretty well here, uh, capturing a, a very active and uh, devastating season. These are storm tracks over the next 14 days. Uh, you can see here at the end here, we'll look at a big blue H coming in of some really cold weather. A lot of times when a hurricane goes up, something comes down. And so as the Hurricane Michael goes up, uh, we get cold air from Canada coming down into the eastern U.S. So uh, we can actually thank Michael for bringing some fall weather to the east coast. You can see these much below normal temperatures here in the east. Um, so starting this weekend, uh, it's definitely going to feel like fall for probably the next uh, 10 plus days um, here in the east. With that, folks, again, uh, please be safe, uh, and we'll have another update here, um, you know, maybe later today or for sure tomorrow.